repetitive head trauma chokes the brain. It turns you into someone else. The new movie Concussion drawing a lot of attention to a hidden injury suffered not just by professional athletes, has a lot of sports parents paying attention these days as well. Dr. David Soma at the Mayo Clinic, all this attention, it's got to be good news for you, ammunition to convince parents that, and coaches, that this is a, a serious issue. Absolutely. I think with all of the recent movies and media attention, the awareness about concussions is definitely on the rise. And hopefully that will um, result in um, kids getting adequately diagnosed and um, properly treated regarding these conditions. Uh, first, what is a concussion? Yeah, a concussion is a traumatic brain injury. It's not something that can traditionally be seen with a CT or an MRI. It is something that occurs more at the microscopic level and it affects the function of the brain and how it does um, its normally activities. Um, oftentimes uh, when a person has a concussion, they're going to manifest various signs and symptoms. The majority of concussions do not include loss of consciousness. Actually, greater than 90% of concussions do not have that, but rather they manifest with other symptoms such as headache, problems with concentration, just not feeling right, dizziness, sensitivity to light and sound, um, nausea, or other types of symptoms. Uh, do we have any idea how many concussions is one too many? We don't know that at the current time. Uh, we do know that the best thing you can do if you have a concussion is make sure that each concussion is adequately treated and you fully recover before resuming back into sports. Um, but as of right now, we don't know um, the number or um, the degree of um, concussion that you need to have um, before we worry that you're going to have long-term types of issues. Now again, uh, this movie is about NFL players and, and professional athletes and, and people, and, and they've been playing the sport for years. Uh, this is not limited to 25, 30 year old uh, professional football players though. Uh, it, you've seen it in, in every age, sex and, uh, and, and amateur athletes as well. Absolutely, concussions is not exclusive to professionals and actually far more children um, or, or, or athletes play sports at the younger levels. And so I think that we all um, focus our attention on uh, the professionals because of their, um, they're visualized on television and other aspects, but really it's an issue that involves all ages. Um, and concussions, again, um, you know, hopefully children can fully recover from each concussion and not develop the long-term issues um, that many are concerned about. And those long-term issues can include things like uh, dementia, depression, anger, even suicide that we see in the movie. Um, it, it's a cumulative effect that, that these things can add up. The, the problem is we just don't know how much is too much. Yeah, we still have a lot to learn in regarding um, concussions, and what you are describing is the condition um, called chronic traumatic encephalopathy. And chronic traumatic encephalopathy is a condition um, that is typically made um, uh, after a person dies when they do an autopsy on their brain. And what they do is they do special stainings um, to see if there's any deposition of any proteins within the brain. The area that we still need to figure out is um, how those um, pathologic findings or the findings um, on a microscope correlate with how someone actually looks. Not everyone with those findings on their brain um, has those manifestations of dementia, depression, um, Alzheimer's or Parkinson's. Um, some people can have um, the exact same findings on autopsy and not have those exact same types of symptoms. So I think it's important that we recognize it, but we still have a lot to learn. Dr. Soma, thanks very much. We appreciate it. We have more information and a link to the uh, Mayo Clinic website. We have a link on fox4news.com. Thank you.